Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of this journey and you're still here, manners and respect. I know you have all seen the title and let's get right into the video. We'll be preparing today beets and rice. In Jamaica, we say beetroot. Other parts of the world, people say mostly beets, but in Jamaica, we say beetroot, you know? So I have got here some beets that I have pre-prepared. I used one pound, right? You all know about beets and if you're not familiar with it and you don't know that it gives it is so nutritious it is an anti antioxidant it flushes out the system in whatever way you eat it as long as you eat you know a reasonable amount it is good for the digestive system if you make it in juice so much the better that it goes down and flushes through the system i love beets i do love them sometimes i slice them cook them slice them eat them i mostly make juice and sometimes I do a little beets, beet rice, and I mix it sometimes not too much with a lot of other stuff. So, so today we are, I'm going to make for you a beet and rice dish. I am not going to be using any form of seasonings, as you know, my scallion and my garlic. No, I'm going to make it on the spiced path, not spicy, spiced. So I'm going to be using, I've rinsed already my pimento seeds. I'm going to be using three leaves of cinnamon. If you don't have cinnamon leaves, you can easily use the cinnamon sticks or some cinnamon powder. I'm going to be using a piece of mashed garlic. You could probably grate the garlic, but I don't know. Don't chop it because you might just be eating garlic right through the rice. I have left one. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with this one. I have here one pound of beets minus this so that probably about this is less than two ounces so what you are to do you are to wash the beet first with the skin on then you slightly peel it skin peel it because this thing is so nutritious it has so much nutritive value you don't want to peel off the whole lighting of the skin so i'm gonna leave one i'm leaving one and i'll show you what i'll do with it but you wash it first do not peel it then wash it you wash it in the skins and you peel it Okay, persons might want to come and say, Hell, I use the skins. Or, Miss Debbie, why you don't use the skins? The skins are pretty bitter, you know? But if you want to try to use your skin, go ahead, use your skin. So, right on over here, I've got me my pot here. And I'm using half and half. One pound of beets. And this is not cooked. This is raw beets to one pound of rice. Okay, family? That's what I'm using. So, here we go. I've got my flame up now flame is up the very first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna put in my piece of ginger i wanted to cook with it and i'm gonna put in a little salt on know my thing to start bringing the flavors together also at this point i'm gonna put my three cinnamon leaves right there i'm gonna give it a little stir also my pimento seeds i want all the flavors to come with it so i'm not gonna go too high right now because i want to use my coconut milk to cook the beets so i have this small amount of water so i'm gonna leave it to come to a boil starts boiling okay that is what is going to be happening now also i'll be putting at the end a little butter okay that's what I, that's all i'm gonna be using and we might need a little more salt so this beet i am going to um peel it have it already been washed and I'm gonna blend it to get a little juice because when I'm when I add the coconut milk, it is gonna dim the color of that in there because you know the coconut milk is all white. So I want to get a little strong juice from this, and I'm gonna use it to pep up back for color as I go along. It's a really simple dish. This is just what I'm doing. I'm leaving it there to cook, and when I return, this will be blended in a little juice. My coconut milk is here already, and we're just gonna have our rice ready. And all of that make sure your coconut milk is strong if you can get your coconut cream so much the better must soon come okay family i am back so we are gonna check on our beets now wow 
that you smell that nice spice flavor coming out yeah, yeah the cinnamon the oh, pimento man. seeds and the ginger mm -hmm. yes are they seeing it dad mm -hmm. all of that remember the beets were raw so we are gonna cook them until tender okay now we have got to put some coconut milk in at this time because the coconut milk needs some cooking i've also thought about the spice flavor and when i read the ingredients that's in the garam masala i have definitely told myself i want to put a little garam masala in there when i put in my rice i've gone ahead and i have whipped up my other beads and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add some coconut milk and then i'm gonna add the extra from the beet the extra juice to maintain that red color okay so i'm gonna just put in some remember we are using just a pound of rice so we don't want a lot of liquid hmm? okay I think that's fine okay so what I want to show you now that the the milk the coconut milk has turned it like pink okay you see that right yeah so it's gonna continue cooking so we want to taste right now for our salt perfection I won't add the extra beet juice until i put in the rice so that's why i did not put a lot of coconut milk so we are going to leave it now let it continue cooking with the coconut milk for another 10 minutes on this sort of medium to low flame so i'm going to taste for salt i think i want a little salt right now a little more salt okay that would be it this dish is so easy yet so nutritious so Coconut milk is there being cooked, also the beets are being cooked. We want them to be tender and nice at the point, not too mashed because the rice have got to be cooked. So I hope you're following these simple instructions and try to make yourself. This can be used as side and you can also pep it up with a little stuff like some shrimp or something, some, you know, some something little pieces of chicken or meat for your or you want to make it into a vegetable dish you can add some more stuff and make it a main dish and all of that hope you're following okay must soon come okay now family i'm back and my beets are three quarters of a way cooked which this is definitely what i've wanted and as you can see the pretty red color is not there anymore so i have used the method of the rice the par cooked one i have cooked off the heavy starch and i have washed it as i've done on a video before and also i did it on a live one morning last week so i'm gonna leave the link to both of those videos that you can go and watch them so what i'm going to do now this is my freshly um blended beets juice and i'm gonna put a little in there not a lot i might not need a whole lot because of the rice so to bring up that, that pretty color and don't tell me say miss debbie can i use ask miss debbie can i reuse red food color in our syrup please don't do that just keep the thing natural and remember beads as this start you see that now you see that dad it's yeah. back up to that pretty red color don't forget that we want to put in a little garam masala this is sort of a different you know family sort of different we don't need more than this like that so we are on a also at this point and we could probably take out our um cinnamon leaves but let us leave them when there's it's true so we are going in with less than a tablespoon of butter just to give it that melonis and we are gonna incorporate everybody get your flame up a little and all of that dissolve this butter and all of that let us leave our cinnamon leaves when the rice is cooked they will come to the top so i want to taste now for my salt perfection want a little more salt and this little last bit of salt will bring all these flavors finally together the garam masala and the butter and all that we did just put in last and this is i think this is the right amount of liquid and we are going to leave it to simmer when you see me next 
this dish will be ready and right in your face this is just a little different way Easter is coming up you just want to have different eats different look to your table remember we're still quarantining you, know? you just want to make things different you want to make things different I have done for you already the carrot rice I've done kalalu rice I've done pumpkin rice now it's beets and I think I've done some other rice there are more mixture with vegetable and rice may soon come so family this is our finished um, beets and rice and this is what it looks like so we have it and you have your beets already in there yeah and have your of the rice it takes the color you know the rice is white so let me dish it out let you see you want it to finish with the, the um the the beets remaining red in there and you know you have to eat around the pimento seeds as with anything okay so remember not to use any red food coloring if you use red food coloring you're going to have the rice red all over and that won't be a good look so let us go dress this up and return this is our finished look from my kitchen to yours from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table to your plate and most of all to your stomach it is spiced beets and rice you saw me I did it from scratch please do enjoy now I just use some um, that French thyme thing that I thought of mint so I just use a few pieces of it just to kind of accompany the beads because they said I'm not finite already just to give it a little look at the top there you know presentation is always the key and all of that if you have liked this video remember to make sure that you give it a big fat thumbs up make sure that you're subscribed to the Jamaican cooking journey when you do subscribe remember to hit the notification bell press the option that says all therefore you will be notified of when we upload our other videos all our other videos remember the time it's February it's a short month I'm not sure if it is the end of March or April but I know Easter is in the making after Valentine's is here almost so after Valentine's and comes Easter so you have got to start making your dishes mix and match try to be different everything is going different family try to be more creative in your kitchens and make the family you know you can't get to go to heat entice your family in your kitchen you have your nice kitchen with them nice stainless steel appliances make sure you make some nice meals to match up with the appliances in your kitchen and all of that let your family feel good and stay at home and just feel um bored and you know what i'm saying all sort of things stress come down and before you know it all kind of different things start happening please do enjoy once more remember that our zoom cooking class will be on this saturday on our community page we have posted the two uh, meals your your vote will determine which one we will be doing thanks for the love thanks for the support in the description of this video will be my carrot rice and also my um the healthy way of well i mean i don't know if it's a healthy you know but let us say the healthy way a more healthier way of making your white rice and all of that thanks for the love thanks for the support also our numbers will be there and our email cash up and all of that stay blessed stay love and most of all do you and love you